I'm Johnny Max from BrewCrazy.com and this is Beer Science, Beer Science 101, Redneck Beer Science. Today class we're going to talk about how beer is made. Well first you got to have some barley, malted barley, or grains. I got a couple of grains right here and I'm going to pour them into this bowl. When you make beer you got to have fresh grains and you take you take the grains and you put them in your mash tun and you add hot water to it. But not too hot, but it's got to be hot enough. You want it to be in a temperature range between 142 degrees Fahrenheit and 158. Now here at Anheuser Bush, we want to get as much alcohol as we can out of the grains. So we we mash our grains at 100, 142 to 144 degrees Fahrenheit, and when you put when you put these fresh grains and water at that temperature, it activates an enzyme in the grains, and what that enzyme does is it takes the starch, the sticky starch in the grains, and it converts it to sweet sweet sugar. And once you convert all that to sweet, sweet sugar, you wash it out of the grains and you leave the grains behind where all you got is this water. It's a work. You got a work. And the work is full of sweet, sweet sugar. And you cook. And then you add hops. Let me see. I got some hops right here. I got a cup. I got a cup of some whole leaf hops. Now look at that, look at that, uh, good. That gives it the bitterness so it ain't too sweet. I got the whole leaf hops and you put the whole leaf hops in the beer. And then you add, you add beech wood and you got the sanitized sterile beech wood. What it does is it gives something for the yeast to grow on. Let's talk about yeast. Okay, so you got the sweet sugar water. You got the hops. Now, you got to have yeast. You add the yeast. What do the yeast do? Let me draw one here. Got the yeast. And it is this Mr. Yeast. You take Mr. Yeast and then you put him in the wort, the wort that has all the sugar in it. So here. Here's Mr. Yeast. Here's Mr. Yeast with the sugar. And Mr. Yeast eats the sugar. See? You can see Mr. E Mr. Yeast eating the sugar. And now when Mr. Yeast eats a lot of sugar, you know what Mr. Yeast does? Well, the first thing Mr. Yeast does is... Let me get this right. When Mr. Yeast eats sugar... He has to piss, and he pisses out alcohol in, in your beer. He pisses out alcohol. So you got lots of sugar, you get lots of alcohol from Mr. Yeast. Now, side effect, a side effect from Mr. Yeast eating all the sugar is not only that he pisses out alcohol, but let me draw a picture here. Whoop, 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 whoop. And he also, Mr. Yeast, he farts. What does Mr. Yeast fart out? He farts out CO2. Mr. Yeast farts out CO2. That is your bubbles in your beer. So as Mr. Yeast eats the sugar, he pisses out alcohol and farts out beer bubbles. But here at Anheuser-Busch, when we add the the beer to the bottles, we add our own pure CO2. So in essence, we don't add CO2 farts, but we add our own. So I guess it's man-made CO2 farts. So basically, that's how you get beer here at Anheuser-Busch. We take grains, get the sugar out of it, we feed it to the yeast who 
eat it, piss out alcohol, fart out CO2, but then we add man-made yeast farts. That's it for today's lesson class on Anheuser Bush's How to Make Beer, Redneck Beer Science 101. Visit us at brewcrazy.com on more beer science. Thank <laughs> you.